then um, the knowledge about uh, the mechanism digital marketing is vital for our success both in our personal life and in our professional life this new paradigm uh, is not regulated it hasn't been established fully established yet it requires an entirely new attitude to our life in this world a world more and more defined by collaboration between people that's a prerequisite for success a world in which we share our creations with everyone including our com uh, competition our competitors a world where we live in uh, communities based on our interests in this new environment co-creation is a critical factor in the digital space requires also an in entirely new ethics of using information and of uh, creating information of the type of information we create I'm telling this um, without uh, being uh, necessary to uh, give evidence among you the professionals the lack of control the lack of um, a second opinion the lack of uh, corrective uh, function uh, the lack of uh, time to consider what you are posting online means that we should be extremely responsible in terms of the you uh, the, the words we use the causes the causes we support because uh, the digital environment and the skills of people like you can have a very beneficial effect but uh, it could also be quite destructive if uh, used for uh, bad faith purposes I'm sure that some of you also work in the public sector um, you should bear in mind that what you create has a great effect on a large number of people and this is uh, an entirely new ethical context of our reality what are the dimensions of the new paradigm in business today we were uh, we talk about about the shared economy I don't know whether you can see well but this slide gives an example of how users don't need to possess to buy and to buy users can just rent the services or products they need being a part of a collaborative uh, format uh, part of a, a loyal customer uh, scheme or structure your business is just one of the hundreds or thousands that offer products and services and it's just one of the options customers can choose uh, to use your products and services to share their experience and uh, uh, this environment is indeed a challenge to marketers but it's also a very constructive environment 
and a driver of uh, new ideas and innovative products, a driver for competition and collaboration in this ecosystem providing uh, the full solution to customers. The online marketing tools in the new environment are quite efficient in terms of uh, engaging big groups of people in different causes and ideas. You probably are aware uh, and support campaigns that uh, that gather huge communities beyond geographical borders and beyond the boundaries of professional or social uh, fields in just minutes. In this ocean of opportunities, uh, the skill to target uh, your messages correctly is critical and I'm sure that in all the panels today you have uh, talked about specific uh, methods of uh, ensuring the visibility of your campaigns. I me I'm mentioning this trend because in the new environment the social uh, the social uh, positions will more and more be influenced on an ad hoc basis by the solutions people like you create. In this uh, changed environment of collaboration and co-creation, the online space is a quite efficient channel ensuring an additional uh, in ensuring additional resources to be uh, used uh, for the public benefit in Bulgaria we see a lot of volunteering initiatives um, enabling the new the new human being to uh, satisfy this uh, need to uh, be of benefit to your society and I, I should say that um, we all have this uh, this need today and um, digital marketing uh, gives this opportunity but what does it mean to be a successful person mastering these tools tools that are part of your professional reality the uh, knowledge requirements on the new human being are much different from what uh, the social environment required just 20 years ago. The 21st century human being willing to be successful in their life in the digital era should not only uh, have uh, basic uh, skills such as uh, English language skills enabling them to communicate successfully in uh, the online environment, IT skills, digital skills. But this person also needs 
other skills and uh, if we haven't developed these skills we should do so these skills should also uh, be in the curricula of universities and schools the new needs of human beings require uh, skimming through information and uh, not uh, going over the same information once and uh, over and over again. Uh, it requires uh, summarization skills and uh, multidisciplinary skills. It's uh, much more important to read things in their context, to comprehend things in their context, in order to send out the correct message, it, in order to understand how the big picture is working and how to be competitive in it. The new, the new human being does more than one thing at a time. So to retain his or her atta attention, you should uh, send a high quality message to them. Being here, I'm sure you know a lot about what I'm talking about. Uh, you should be aware of the criteria of uh, your target group. We all want to target the modern human beings, the human beings that will determine tomorrow's agenda. There are a lot of uh, change agents in business, in NGOs, or change drivers. A lot of organizations uh, offer modern educational formats, including postgraduate ones. And, uh, Along with the classical academic institutions, I think there are numerous other opportunities that you can use but also create in order to prepare the environment for the needs of the new era, in order to support the, the knowledge level and that's what we are doing in move.bg we work for sustainable innovation in the field of uh, culture and uh, society uh, our purpose is uh, to promote this new culture in all aspects in all dimensions of modern life it's important to uh, build bridges between people doing different things because everyone lives in their own bubble and gets informed by this bubble. In this new world, it's extremely important to understand other people's perspectives and to co-create together with uh, people doing uh, different things. For example, if you are an, um, a social entrepreneur, it's important to collaborate with a cultural entrepreneur, especially in, uh, in terms of uh, ideas with a big social impact. That's what we're doing and I want to share this with you. 
that's how we structure our ideas in our digital campaigns and uh, this gives us uh, the opportunity to uh, target a wider um, target group. Where does Bulgaria stand when speaking of digital marketing transformation, speaking of the new era, speaking of our compatibility in this process? I'm not sure whether you can see clearly from the back seats, but I'm going to share with you some facts worth considering when speaking of education, training, and a business based on the digital. Only 12% of Bulgarians have hired an average digital skills. Twelve percent more are the ones with good digital competences. This is the group U.S. professionals are speaking to. There are 39 percent of Bulgarians have never had access to the Internet and this channel has never been a part of their life. Further, 29% have basic digital skills. This means that they will probably not be able to be fully addressed, meaningfully addressed in your marketing campaigns. I am saying this for two reasons. I am aware that, of course, digital marketing is only one tool in integrated communication campaigns. Surely there are other mechanisms to reach people. But since you are among the people, among the 12% or the 40% in total, it makes sense to think together how we can increase this basis through training programs like this one in digital marketing envisaged by the University of National and World Economy. This is the knowledge that can easily be gathered and it will be useful for you as business people and for the society as a whole. Now, something else which I think is important for your work. What you can see is what are the projections of the use of IT and digital technologies and solutions on part of the Bulgarian business. I didn't mention the color legend. The data on Bulgaria are in red, the data in grey are for the countries which acceded to the EU in two th after 2004. And in blue, you can see the averages for the old European countries. This slide shows that only 47% of the SMEs, which is a company under 200 people personnel, have a web page. There's a lot to do for all of you. Only 30% of the businesses in Bulgaria use social media as a marketing campaign channel or for other exposures. It is a, 
an even lower level, although this might not concern you directly as audience, but you should keep it in mind as a context. Merely 8% of companies use social media and digital channels for online sales. And of course, it is a very low percentage of systems related to internal support or ERP. Surely, there's a lot to do so that Bulgarian businesses are more competitive so that the additional opportunities for exposure of their results are added, but also in connection with the opportunities in general worldwide for Bulgarian companies to have a, an international exposure. I would very much like with your resources at your fingertips for you to be active participants in this process because the fact that Bulgaria has significant capacity in terms of high technologies and expertise which is recognizable throughout the world through individual contributions or companies with uh, global markets, this does not shape the picture of Bulgarian economy. And there's a lot of work to do here and plenty of opportunities for professionals like you to contribute. Since I mentioned the Bulgarian economic environment, I would like to share with you some more information. We at Move BG have been working for finding solutions so that uh, a greater efficiency of Bulgarian economy is achieved according to the potential of Bulgaria. This summer we performed a mapping and analyzed together with the Institute for Strategic Analyses and Development 300 thousand Bulgarian companies to see where the Bulgarian economy stands at the moment without delving into details I'm going to use this as an argument to hint where you can contribute we analyzed 300,000 Bulgarian companies and structured them in accordance with different criteria, different clusters, on the basis of the products they developed. At the macro level, Bulgaria is okay. We have 3% GDP growth. Practically, there is no inflation. There is improvement in the unemployment level, nearly 10%, which is a very good result against the background of the European picture. But a deeper analysis brought out two issues that 25% of the Bulgarian economy depends on EU subsidies which will run out in 2020 or depend on direct budget subsidies. I'm not sure how well aware of these things you are but Bulgarian debt has doubled since 2011 and a part of it goes to support infrastructure branches of the economy. It's, it's not bad to absorb funds. Unfortunately, they don't go to making the industry efficient or to develop innovations. From this point of view, I'm 
Mentioning this as a limiting factor, only 21% of Bulgarian companies today have export potential and this is the channel to attract additional resources to our country. We extrapolated things and said that if all companies in a in a given cluster have deficiency of the top 10 using digital tools, internal systems for control. If they balance uh, investing in innovations and market development, the effect on the integral level for the economy would be 25% exactly the percent being at risk, so to say. I'm sharing this data with you to urge you to be co-pilots, to participate closely with businesses as regards their finding advice and a solution with your help to find new tools in terms of market exposure, but also optimize their development in order to improve this picture together. You have a huge role to play, which you can play with your professionalism. What do we continue doing in Move BG to support the change and I hope to win friends among you for this idea. It's obvious that one huge potential which can quickly bring benefits for our economic development is the support of the digital industry. There are many interesting startups in Bulgaria some of them have been established recently and uh, strengthening these to become significant economic factors would increase Bulgaria's export potential because as a rule a big part of these companies have the potential to work on the external market, but at the same time they will support an economic development using modern technologies and modern channels for exposure, which is exactly what you're doing. The EDIT campaign, which is an acronym coming from Economic Development by Innovation and Technologies, this has as a goal to create an open network for small and starting digital enterprises which would allow an exchange or creation of more effective groups of interest and for self-help because it's, there's not a better house in every city or another accelerator for sure, there are many talented people throughout Bulgaria. Let's create an online mechanism so that your knowledge or the knowledge that you are to develop to be available to many people with the tool, tools of the digital interchange this is what EDIT is for. It is an open network. The first initiative of EDIT is to make a survey as to how many the startups are, in what fields they work, what their needs are, 
these are data missing from the Ministry of Economy currently. And on the basis of this analysis, we are going to recommend measures for support of this type of knowledge, I hope, that uh, we'll be able to support some of the lines with specific academic courses with some of the universities, but also offer the government to take specific steps to support this vital exposure of Bulgaria with the potential to help the economic development of Bulgaria, which is a part of the Bulgarian economic society. Are there any people among you who work with startup companies? I hope that you support this survey by participating in it. If we have a maximum number of results, we will be able to structure and support your work with effective measures with regard to the development of the Bulgarian digital industry one day ago I went to Poland I was invited to participate at a big economic forum and I'm to say that we had a very sensible collaborative work with the government there and uh, there was a collaboration between the government and the digital sector they had achieved a lot for one year they've made huge progress in Poland's visibility in the development of additional program centers and in throwing a light on how important this digital development is. So, participate in it, support it, and think on how, from your perspective, with your knowledge, you can actively participate in the process of transformation as agents of this new culture and new development. Thank you. I'm at your disposal if you have any questions. Thank you. I use this opportunity to uh, to give a communicative context of this. What communicative skills uh, do people need in this new environment? Nothing can uh, replace, can substitute for our personal presence, for sure. I would recommend to you a new book called Contagious. It's available both in English and Bulgaria, in Bulgarian. It's by Jochen Berger. It provides an in-depth analysis of the efficiency of digital communication and business. It turns out that three, through digital channels we could uh, achieve just 7% coverage among our addressees. The word of mouth 
promotion of ideas is critical to uh, the marketing success of any kind of initiative. I don't want to downgrade the importance of digital marketing because it's extremely important. It's an extremely important part of uh, our communication and of the way we pass our messages. But we shouldn't forget that communicative skills have to do with being able to present ideas in a convincing way, uh, being able to structure your ideas uh, so that they are recognizable among the ocean of ideas and uh, also being able to think from different perspectives in order to be uh, ingenious. In this world flooded with information, it's important to be uh, consistent in developing our ideas. So, to answer Alexander's question, it's obvious that digital skills be they basic or highly professional, like here in this room, are important. But the development of personal communication skills, including presentation skills, like I'm standing here in front of you, are extremely important for your success in your profession and your personal life and all the causes you support.